Hey everybody, welcome to The Narrative. I'm Malfunction, and today I have a bunch of goodies that I have um, acquired over the past week, and one that's taken me ages to pay off, and I haven't opened it. It arrived yesterday. I just want the surprise of it all because I've waited so long. It cost a bit. Uh, it's two items, actually. You know, hopefully it's the what I'm thinking about, because like I said, I haven't checked what it is. So, yeah. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, if you're watching this on Rumble, please um, give me the Rumble thing, whatever they do there. Follow. And if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, please subscribe, like, and whatever if you enjoy my videos and so forth. Um, let's start off with something very simple. And this is this is these um, this past week on my shopping spree, as I usually do each week on my little hunts, I found this. Now I think these are made just for like coasters or something, but they're pretty cool. This is a set of uh, five, so I guess maybe one's missing, or somebody put an extra one. So it's like the Bebops. It's got all these really cool um, um, names, you know, of bands and stuff. And but it's, it's pretty cool. Like I think, yeah, like I said, they. I'm not sure if they actually are singles. They have the scratch marks of vinyls. I remember collecting vinyls years ago like about 20 odd years ago um used to have the metallica um and justice for all i think um and a whole bunch of other metal albums thrash metal albums anyway so that's that cost me like about a dollar or something um so i thought i'll take those we'll put them somewhere for good use all right so next up um i saw this and i was like i don't know if i have it or not and I most probably do, it doesn't even matter if I do, I'll, at least I'll have one, I know exactly I'll have one. So this cost me uh, three bucks, this is um, one of, um, this is the breakout, I think the major breakout of um, Jim Carrey's talents, Mr. Egg, no, Dr. Egg, and the newly released uh, Sonic 2, which I want to see, uh, I haven't been able to see that yet, but I, I do love the sonic movie i was i've never been into the game as such or even got into playing the game because i think i moved away from home when that came out and so i wasn't into that or i started watching a couple of the episodes i think on the when he first drops in on, on the cartoon i'm talking about when he first drops in on um on earth and you know it gets chasing around with the cops and stuff so i saw i think two episodes of that or maybe that's just the first one but yeah so the mask based on the um on the awesome, um, well, actually, I don't know if you read it. I know I have a copy somewhere, or maybe I don't, I'm not sure. But I saw that somebody having the mask comic, Mask versus um, Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles, or something like that, or with them. But this is Jim Carrey's, yeah, this is like he came out of In Living Color, where it was really awesome. Like, if I used to watch Living Color at night about 11 o'clock here in New Zealand, and um. You know, he'd do the faces and all that, and he was just an amazing comedian, and that's where he came off from. And, you know, it was just the Wine and Brothers and all that. He was just brilliant on it. He was like one of the first guys to break out, out of it, as comedy-wise. And you can t see why. When you watch when you watch this, or if you even when you watch the, you know, the, um, the, in the color sequences, like the skits they do, it's awesome. So this is, I got this one, I guess two years ago. This goes 2020 there, so it's two years ago for two dollars, right? Uh, retail at ten on special, but it was um, pre-loved at two dollars. So um, I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but I have two copies of it, so I've got to find out if I've got a friend who's in, who wants one of those copies. All right. Um, next up, which is quite a huge surprise, right? Next up, right? Um, I don't know if you guys ever know, knew this existed. I didn't, right? So I don't know this existed. And so this is Operation Skill Game, and um, it's much loved. It's got it's got a kid's drawing on this. It's two plus five age. It's a copy of something at the bottom there. It's like it's got six plus age, and at the, at the top they've written like two plus five. Always loved seeing the like pre loved things. But the sad thing about this is, well, whoever whoever it belonged to stuck a pen in there and started like you know stabby stabby i used to do that myself a bit so I, I do not complain about this kid or kids whoever owned this so i haven't opened it picked it up last tuesday i think it was and so what's that smell just 
So something really nice. Uh, weird. Um, okay, so it's like it's a non-sticky tape, which is really cool. It's like one of these white tapes, which is like doesn't stick fully. So it's but it keeps it it holds it together. So let's see what oh there's four. So I love surprises, you, you know, with these things is um, because I mean not surprises. I mean I love uh, finding these things, which are surprises, I guess. And oh, that one was a bit too sticky because there's a piece it was ripped at the top, so it's got to be gentle. Uh, no, but of course it doesn't matter if it gets ripped. But I don't want to get more right because um, this game it only cost me three bucks. And I used to have like me and my sister like when we were kids we had this. Uh, and oh well, it's still got some pieces, but I'm sure it's missing a whole bunch of stuff, right? Uh, from it because it's such a you know it's it's about twenty years old. I think it said something like about uh, two thousand six or something like that, or two thousand one. How old are you, buddy? Where are you? Age? Where's your age? Hmm. I think that's somewhere I read when I picked it up. I think it might be on this under the cover. 2006 so 2002 to 2006 so it would have come out at that time uh so yeah big hole hello there uh, but doesn't matter because it's a pretty cool thing so let's have a look all right so oh it's got a whole bunch of stuff it's got money and stuff so i've forgotten what these i mean these games are like because i mean like i said it's been year donkey's year since i've played them i mean i must have been like about 11 maybe even 10 when i when we had one of the normal one operations but, you know, the pieces are there, the electronics are there. Uh, there's some little bones and stuff. What is that? Is that like that knee, um, like, is it the ear? I think that's the ear, isn't it? But the cool thing is it's got like a little um, webbing. If you can see that, let's bring that out. So it's got webbing and stuff. And, um, and you got the money, Marvel Universe money with Spider-Man on there. The $500 note, uh, 100 uh, and I, it's just like, yeah, it's really cool. Like, it's like, it's got this thing called $600 crook in the neck. A pain in the neck is not all that nice. Remove it for a fancy price. So I don't even remember what the game of, um, you know, uh, of, um, operation was supposed to be. It's like, so it's got like, um, different dices. So it's got like three, I'm not even sure they're supposed to be in there. Uh, maybe I'll look at the cover and find out in a minute, you know, um, but yeah, so let me see the cover. Let's see. Uh, no, cover doesn't say about dice, but there's Doc Ock in there. So, you know, it's, so you've got four dice. One's blue, one's a little red. It's got the hearts. It's got a little spidey, right? Spider in there and it's got all this cash there. Then it's got the doctor's 700, uh, $700 spider cents. I, I don't even know if this is supposed to be there, but this is in here as well. Oats. O, uh, oats and W-T-O. Anyway, so it's, yeah, it's hopefully it's got all the little tiny pieces, but I'm just going to, it's just a novelty collection for me. It's Spider-Man, right? <laughs> I mean, seriously, look at this thing. Right. It's a Spider-Man. And I could just basically put this on a wall as a showpiece and it'll look really cool. Um, in my apartment, I mean, or if I ever open up a shop again. But I mean, it's, this is just such such a cool thing. See, it's got a little holder for it on the side, I just noticed. But um, yeah, it's got a costume we a wedge, wedgie, costume wedgie. You can get that between the, <laughs> like out on there. So I'll just say it's not between the groin, but it's on the side. So uh then you go like a war crawl's knee it's funny i just think this is funny like opera so this is from the spider-man origins edition so uh yeah operation spider-man origins and um this is so cool like i mean look at it it's like the plastic isn't damaged at all the paper of, i mean the card that's got it, it's got a bit of like scratching from obviously this you know trying to get in there and getting frustrated as you do when you're playing these games but yeah that's pretty cool. I think this is such a cool score for three bucks. And, you know, I'm just, yeah, I'm just blasted. I'm not blasted, blown away by the fact. I saw, when I saw it, I was like, oh man, this is just so cool. And also <laughs> for you symbiote fans, right? 
there is a uh, symbiote spill. Is that like symbiote ooze ooze? All right, so that's that. Okay, now down to the last two. This is a quick video this week because um, I bought out some other stuff and I can't figure out. Oh no, that, no that's the last four. Let's get to something. Um, let's get to some Funko stuff. Now, this is pretty cool, right? This is like a, a wearable mask. You put on the back as a Funko, so you like disguise yourself as a Funko thing. Um, and it's cost me, this is the score of the week. I mean, I've got all this other stuff to score, but I think this is the score of the week because it's brand new, it's not second hand, uh, it's a cool find. It's got this little thing at the back for putting it on your hair for strap. And also it's got the hanger, so you can actually hook it up. I mean, it's got a hook. Sorry, it's got a hole with a strap that you can hook it up to the door. And of course, a Harlequin, all right? So we're going DC right now. So this is Harlequin. And on top of that, let me just grab this out because I want to see, um, how do I get this without messing it up? So they have this, uh, as you can see, they have this cut. So when I mean score of the week, this is like 50 bucks or 49. I got it for five bucks. And um, so that's Harley. Um, all right, so they've got like a little pa um, pack here, like I said, you just saw. And with that, they have a card. It's a really thick card, which is really weird, right? So, um, which in a way it's cool because you get to collect a card for your 50 bucks of plastic, right? And I can see why people like wouldn't want to buy this, but then I see why people would want to buy this because this is really cool. I mean, it's just, it's not like hard Funko plastic. It's just plastic, like really thin. You can see that? Like really, really thin. It's like probably just as thick as my nails. I mean, the width is my nails, I should say. Yeah. So, yeah, so they have that pouch. And with that pouch, you get the card. And on the card, it says uh, imported into Australia, sports cards, uh, how to hang it, um, which is, I think, this is this one here, just telling you to put a nail in there, and away you go. So the cool thing here is that card will go back in there, or, no, actually, I'll keep it up, put it in, put it in, the, in the Batman, um, in the Batman um, cabinet, which I have to my left here, which, coming up next, is, of course, Batman. So these are two that I got. So if you're retailing this, right, they're like a, that's what I mean, like a score, right? Brand new, right? Brand new, out of shop. If you're retailing this, this is $50, $49 each New Zealand, right? So I said it's about 30, maybe 35 US. If you're watching for the US and probably 30, 45, 40. If you're Australian, your money's bigger than ours because we're a smaller country uh, and so on and less population as they say so again another card in here same deal i would i would have like really liked it if they would just put something interesting in the back like some information about the character and man this one's really tight it's actually feels like it's too oh no no it's about right they must have had a, they must have had fun trying to get it in without making a mess of it dude is that sticking to the card itself I don't know. There we go. Got it out. Yeah. So, I mean, like, really, seriously, some information about Batman would have been cool. Right? Uh, who was, you know, just some info would be cool about Batman. Uh, and this is what I think. It's like, there's a lot of cheating going on, I think, in, um, in the whole uh, action figure and merchandise universe right now. Is that, here's a figure, here's a merchandise, right? But they don't tell you what it's from. They expect you to know it all. So if you're gift, gifting it somebody, you know, to try to get them into it, they're like, oh, that's Harley Quinn. And, okay, so who's that? So in the old days, you used to get comic books with your, uh, with your, um, you know, with your action figures. Um, for the same price you get them from now, but actually might have been cheaper. Uh, but maybe not as detailed, but I think, Todd McFarlane recently did a whole thing about how he's make bring out these cheap figurines 
with mini comics or something in there, right? And for like about probably about fifteen dollars New Zealand or twenty bucks New Zealand, depending on what you know plot price of plastic has gone up. So it's probably about that. Now, well, um, so he's that's awesome, right? I think that's pretty cool. I think it's a really cool thing to do because that's one way to get people into reading the comic uh, instead of just playing with a toy. And most of the time, if you're a kid, you, you open it up and go for it. And then you get to read. And that means that you have someone who's interested in art and do literature and comic books, um, learning how to draw their characters, learning how to write, how to do the logo designs, as I used to. Yeah, so, um, and that sort of allows... Uh, you know, sort of future artists to um, grow and stuff or become a future artist or develop their skills and so on uh, if they're already into it. So I think I think Todd McFarlane is someone who, like myself, um, I'm not saying that I'm anything like him, but, uh, you know, brain-wise, but I'm saying who thinks about how the things are going and what could be different to change it or what could be beneficial uh, to the situation right now or future. So I kind of think that way as well. I'm always like trying to think five years down and I have five steps up, the, up there because I used to be very, very skilled. I could say skilled because I used to always be my friends unless until they cheated sometimes. Uh, and we used to play five hour long risk games, right? Uh, and I have risk space that I've, I got gifted by my brother. Oh no, Avengers, isn't it? I think it was Risk Avengers. And I still haven't played it. I want to do it. I haven't got around to do it. I haven't found the right people to play it with because you need a lot of, um, what is it called? Um, a lot of, um, excuse me, a lot of time on your hands and dedication to play a game of risk. Excuse me. So, you know, so I used to, I always learned, I, my brain was always being tuned to like, how do I think five steps ahead? Because I got to think about that island over, or that country over there while I'm over here trying to defend this one. How do I use that one to attack and so on? How do I defend and all that? And so you, you kind of learn all your skills, right? And so um, that's the way I think. And I think Todd McFarlane is exactly that thinking brain. And like, I think he's been in the industry long enough to understand how it works. Uh, he's very smart. Uh, he's, he knows what he wants. He knows what's needed right now. And I think um, that's pretty cool for the industry, as, um, especially with the toy things that he's doing. I think that's a real good move because, um, you know, I think that's that's what's going to get people more into it. It's like it's like DC, I'm not sorry, DC, Marvel for 10 years putting out all these, you know, uh, their first phase of, phase of movies and never putting anything about go to your local store to read about the comics and characters you just see. So for those 10 years, comic uh, stores we're going what the hell you're doing we're going out of business because you just won't use your biggest publicity you know thing your billions of dollars of publicity advertising for free i mean just by putting a little two second ad and not going to cost you anything right just put the plug us why don't you you know just go see a local wherever you live go see a local um you know comic book shop and buy a comic book and be because they don't do that comic book industry's dying and you can't tell me anything different or anybody, I, I dare you to tell me anything different. Um, if, you know, even I, I've started reading manga the last uh, three years, and I've read manga now more than comic book. And I'm a comic book creator, which is kind of sad in a sense because it just shows you that the modern comic books don't matter uh, as much as they used to because the stories are not as good, the character writing is not as good, and I just spend money on the old stuff, as you'll see, as you'll see soon so one of the other things i picked up moving along uh is this all right let's go back a bit this is a batman um oh gosh i knew what it was called um it is gosh hold on i should say here's a nope it doesn't say there Darn it. but it does have its thing in there uh this is from uh come on come on mattel mattel it's from mattel right it's, it comes with a couple pieces i just got told i i asked on um, on a website here um on sorry on a facebook site here which uh is um new zealand toy collectors i think um yeah action toy collectors and i said does anybody know what this is and they said this is what it is and i said oh two seconds after i had basically 
um, found out because <laughs> I hadn't looked then that there's a black, you know, there's like a that thing there, and uh, I could you know scan it, a uh, Q scan and um, search it, and I was able to do that. So this is pretty cool. So like as soon as I saw this, I was like, it's mine. I don't care how much it costs. And this is a, another find that's cost me five bucks. Uh, so it's missing all the several pieces, actions and all that. But I'm happy with it because I can display my, like I said, my, uh, I don't think I have a Batman up there. Oh, you know, I could just put an action figure on it. Let's see. We could just, you know, chuck one of those things on there and we're good to go. Right. Um, but yeah, so that, that costs five bucks. And the cool thing about it is all the different things it does. Like, so you've got this um, TV screen, right? Um, over there and it closes that up and you got that it's like the batman of the future uh, mask there uh you've got um i think this is where the body are uh, like not body so they're supposed to go up and down here um and there's a little leak a thing you pull down to the back the weird thing is that like i'm not sure if it's uh you know what the deal with that is if it's supposed to make that noise or not the other thing is that you've got this here it's like a i don't know it's like a flippy thing I'm not sure what uh, you also got these um, turning things. I think that's the one that flips it or something. Oh, yeah. So there's like a like a foot holder there for them to stand on. I think it was like um, Nightwing that was supposed to be there. And then you got Batman or Robin at the top there that holds off. And of course, you got the bottom one. You could have Batman or Robin there. So it's just you know, it's such a cool thing. Um, and you've got all these things that open up, slide them out. So for this is like about US, but I think it's only 50 bucks or something. If, you, if it's brand new, um, there's also a cage. <laughs> you get like, right, that swings open. So you got to like a, a, the design is really cool. Like, so you, you got that there. Uh, you got the, the Gatlin gun, I guess it is. Or, you know, the fire, fire stuff. And I think I've got a piece I can put in there as well. So this actually closes up on that. Uh, you got a whole, uh, like a safe at the bottom here, All right? And the cool thing, about, and, the, and you got the bag, right? So as soon as I saw it, I was like, it's Batman, it's mine. And I was quickly picked it up. And I think they just put it out, which is like that morning. So I was like, I, I think I got on about an hour after they put it out. Okay, now for the big one. Um, let me put this aside, you can go there. Put this in the Batman cabinet. 